Okay, and this is anti-Semitism on campus. This is property of Oxford University Students' Union. Do I see a delegate wishing to take this speech? Oh, I see. Uh, David Klemperer, Oxford University Student Union. Shall I start? Conference. Since becoming a student, I've been horrified by the extent of anti-Semitism on campus. Speaking to Jewish students at my own university, I, I'm just, what I'm told is prejudice is pervasive. Uh, in my own labor club, Students were denouncing uh, Auschwitz as a cash cow, they were uh, condoning anti-Semitic attacks on synagogues, and they were mocking Jewish victims of the Paris terror attacks. Too often, incidents like this are overlooked, ignored, and dismissed. If we are to be a movement that truly combats racism in all its forms, it is vital that we tackle anti-Semitism head on, which is what this motion does. It states unequivocally our opposition to anti-Semitism. It must be clear where this movement stands. It sets out an internationally recognized definition that has been passed by previous NUS conferences. It also recognizes the issues the NUS itself has and takes measures to address this. Finally, it commits us to helping and encouraging individual student unions to respond better to anti-Semitic incidents and to provide more support to victims. Anti-Semitism is a major issue for many students on campus. We have a long way to go in fighting it, but this motion can help us make the first steps. Thank you. Okay, so we've got an amendment on this motion, 404A. Um, this is property of Birmingham Guild of Students, but the speech for has been waived to Leeds Union. Do I see a delegate to take that speech? Oh, I see that delegate there. Sam Gold, Leeds University Union. Conference, the living memory of the Holocaust is dying. It is therefore more important than ever to commemorate Holocaust Memorial Day. On the 27th of January, people around the world honor the memory of the six million Jews and five million people, five million others, systematically murdered at the hands of the Nazis. This year, Arab activism has been at the forefront of the student movement. So how come on Holocaust Memorial Day, there was just one tweet and only one blog? It's just not good enough. There are fantastic organizations that bring Holocaust survivors onto campuses. Let's get them in every union, every society, and every university. It's no secret that the number of Holocaust survivors is getting even smaller. After the Holocaust, last Holocaust survivor passes, I fear for the memory of the Holocaust. If you truly believe never again, then I urge you, conference, for the memory of the 11 million, vote for this it's amendment. Time, Thank you. Okay, do I see anyone wishing to take a speech against this amendment? My name and State your name and constituent member. Right, my name is Data Kaleya, and I'm from University of Chester. I am a first timer, so I'm a little bit nervous. So before I start, I want to make it clear that I am not against commemorating the Holocaust. I am against the NUS and the government forgetting and ignoring the mass genocides and prioritizing some lives over others. And I think instead of commemorating just one mass genocide, I think it's important to have a day to commemorate all the mass atrocities. In my five years of UK education through our GCSEs to A-levels, not once were genocides of Tibet, Rwanda or Zanzibar taught to me and my peers. So please, please vote against this motion, against the one day dedicated purely to the atrocities of, one, of just one mass genocide, as it suggests that some lives are more important than others. Instead, campaign for a day to commemorate all of them. Thank you. Okay, we've had a request for another round of speeches on this amendment, which I'm going to grant. So can I see a delegate in favour of the amendment? Yeah? <sighs> Hi, conference. Ollie Hudson, Cambridge University. Um, I think, actually, as we've just seen, we have to support this motion with the amendment because, conference, we have a problem for all the progress that the student movement has, faced, um, has made fighting all forms of oppression. There has remained a glaring omission, and that has been anti-Semitism. It is the one form of oppression that regularly goes unchallenged in the student movement. Whether it is the lazy and harmful bandying about 
unthinkingly of terms like Zionism or a willingness to share platforms or endorsements from known anti-Semites. This is a scourge on our movement and it's a betrayal of those that we claim to represent. Now, I am not Jewish and I acknowledge that I, I make this speech from a, a place of privilege. But as someone who has been active on the student left, I've seen the impact that anti-Semitism can have on Jewish activists, on friends who are made to feel there is no home for them in progressive politics. I have seen how when Jewish students speak, our first instinct is to shout them down or accuse them of playing oppression Olympics. So on behalf of all allies to Jewish students out there, we stand with you and today we can make That's a statement. That's time, Delegate. Very powerful statement. That's time. Okay, so we're going to move to a summation on this amendment, which has been waived to NEC. I see that delegate there. I, sorry, we need to have a speech against that to balance the debate. Do I see someone wishing to take a speech against the amendment? Sorry. Someone wishing to take a speech against the amendment? Yeah, I see that delegate there. Right at the back, yeah. So sorry, conference. I'm normally much better at sharing. It was karaoke last night. <laughs> if you'll still help me back later, I'll be better this afternoon, I promise. Okay, so when you're ready, you've got 60 seconds. Say your name and constituent member. Morning conference, um, AQ here from the Union of Kingston Students. Um, I think we need to be very clear about what's, uh, what's being requested here. Uh, my colleague earlier, she mentioned that it's not just about uh, one set of people. I mean, of course, of course, without any doubt, there, without any doubt, there should be no anti-Semitism at all whatsoever. But it's not just about one set of people. It's about the whole. We can't pick and choose. We can't pick and choose with who we um, careful with who we stand with. Solidarity is with everybody, not with just one. So that's my uh, speech, so please vote for against the motion. Thank you. Okay, we've had a request for another round of speeches, but I feel the, the debate has been balanced, so I'm going to move to the summation. Can I, I see that delegate there? conference. Um, I wasn't expecting to take the speech um, and I really, uh, really wish that I wasn't, uh, that I didn't have to. Um, but conference believes one on this motion, on this amendment says that the Holocaust, the geno genocide perpetrated by Nazi Germany, killed six million Jews and five million others, including disabled LGBTQ individuals, people of Roman descent, Roman descent and political opponents. This motion recognises the people killed in the Holocaust. And conference, the question has to be asked, why do we have a problem commemorating the death of six million Jews? The left and the student movement has long since been considered to have a problem with anti-Semitism and this conference has to stand alongside our comrades uh, and, and support Jewish students to recognise one of the worst genocides known to humankind and stand up and say never ever again. Okay, conference, we're going to move to a vote on this amendment. Um, so can I see all those in favour of this amendment? Okay, and can I see all those against? And any abstentions? That amendment passes, so we move back to the main motion. Um, but we've got parts on the main motion, so I'm going to pass over to DPC, who are going to explain what happens. Oh, okay. Sorry, so because we um, have elections now, we're going to have to pause this motion um, and go to elections. So we are going to suspend this motion for the time being and come back to it when the zone um, picks up again later, um, where the rest of the debate will be held. Pass over. So pass over to elections committee.